bit on the fresh side. Now, tomorrow the winds will be lighter, there'll be more sunshine and higher temperatures, so a much warmer day to come. And then those temperatures continuing to climb as we come towards the weekend, and they could even reach the lower 80s by the time we get into Saturday. If you have a look at the satellite picture, it's hardly any cloud right their way down the country. Still a little bit left over in Kent and Essex. It's all melted away. Now, there may be a few patches of that coming back overnight tonight, but it's all gone away again tomorrow. On the chart for noon tomorrow, the reason for the fine weather is the high pressure. It's building right in over the country. Now, the isobars tomorrow beginning to edge apart, so it's lighter winds and a fine day to come. This evening, then, dry and sunny, and overnight it'll remain dry and generally clear, but I think we may see some patches of cloud later in the night, particularly in the east and the north of the area. So it's over in the west, the lowest temperatures, down to about 9, that's 48 degrees Fahrenheit, so a nice fresh night to come. And then tomorrow morning, it's patchy cloud and sunny spells to start us off. But as the morning goes on, the cloud is going to gradually disperse. And then into the afternoon, there's going to be a good deal of sunshine right the way through the area, with just some puffs of fair weather cloud drifting around, generally over the hills, nothing very much at all. The winds, they're going to be light and coming from the northeast. And temperatures tomorrow, well, showing the signs of recovery up to 23, that's 73 degrees Fahrenheit. That'll be over in the west of the area. I think in the northeast, Temperatures probably a couple of degrees lower than that. Looking towards the weekend, Thursday, an absolutely beautiful day with plenty of sunshine around. Temperatures up to 25, that's 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Then on Friday and Saturday, yes, a few puffs of cloud around, a good deal of sunshine as well. And by Saturday, temperatures to 27, that's 81. Our picture tonight, that's by Emma Coxhead. And the summary tonight, dry with clear spells. Tomorrow, dry with a good deal of sunshine. Thanks very much, Carl. Well, it's been a star-studded show, and uh, who are we to compete? Let's go back to the stars at Highclere and leave the last word to Chris. Excellent. Thank you very much indeed, Hannah. We've had a truly fantastic day here in the sunshine. Lord Carnarvon's team beat Robin Smith's team, but I can tell you that the result on the pitch didn't really matter. It's been a fantastic day here at Highclere. From Meridian tonight, good night. Copper with a common touch, eh, son? Perhaps he's more in touch than you are, certainly sharper at his job. All I did was to use the poor little girl, like I use everyone, for the sake of the job. A Touch of Frost, Saturday at ten past eight. In a moment, Tony Slatter is your host for the quiz, Who Am I?, as part of our Take 7 series. When it comes to killing insects, all you need to know is RAID. <laughs> RAID kills bugs dead. The effect of on the solar system. New Headex Ibuprofen. So powerful, it starts working in 15 minutes. <laughs> Party time with Piendo European Ferries this summer. We've got some amazing day trips and mini cruises with something to suit everyone. So don't miss out on a day out with a real difference. Watch out for the Piendo Encore leaflet coming through your door. Pick one up at your travel agent or just ring 0990-980-555. Where there's smoke. You should have told me you were coming home, Jeannie. There are flames of passion. I want that man to roast in hell. I just love a happy ending. And burning desire. I'm warning you. Savannah, red hot Friday night drama at nine on Meridian. Mandy's munch box has been closed down by the health inspector. So what will she do now? Emmerdale's in half an hour.
Fame is a fickle food upon a shifting plate. The words of the poet Emily Dickinson. And who's Emily Dickinson, you may ask? The answer is, of course, who cares? One, she's six feet under, and two, she can't even rhyme. <laughs> so, hello and welcome to Who Am I? The quiz about famous sayings and famous people. And now please welcome my two teams of top flight celebrity divas. <laughs> <laughs> On my left, one of the founding fathers of British satire, personally responsible for the downfall of the Macmillan government in 1963, <laughs> and indeed for the repeal of the Corn Laws in 1846. <laughs> it's Ned Sherrin. <laughs> and with Ned, a twinkly star in the galaxy that is showbiz, a bright light in the cosmos of entertainment, a comedian and author who's not just a supernova, she's a gorgeous one. It's <laughs> Helen Lederer. <laughs> And on my right, a powerful executive and television innovator, recently escaped from the channel that brought you topless darts and lunchbox volleyball. <laughs> she shoots, she scores, she collects teapots. It's Janet Street Porter. <laughs> and next to Janet's, although uh, obviously not close enough to invade her personal space, is a man whose sense of humour is more infectious than the Ebola virus. He is also a world authority on Victorian spanking regalia. Would you please welcome and give a fevered welcome to brilliant improviser and comedy store player Jim Sweeney. Right, let's snap on the rubber gloves and dibble our way into the first round. <laughs> Helen, we start with you. I'm going to give you a clue, and there's four, point, four points if you can guess the famous person I'm thinking of. No conferring. Helen, I'm an accomplished xylophone player, but I'm best known for stargazing. Who am I? Well, would that be Patrick Moore? It would for four points. Well done. OK. Brilliant Jim, stuff. this one's for you. <laughs> the 4th of July may appear to be a good day on which to be born, but my mission was quite impossible. Who am I? Uh, Tom Cruise. Is correct. Four points. Ned. I once dated Michael Parkinson's son, but now I'm an ardent admirer of someone else. Who am I? Oh, God, I'm going to be the first one to let you down, Helen, I'm afraid. Um, well, there's nobody else to let me down here, Ned, so no pressure. Is it a man or a woman? <laughs> it's a woman, double-barreled name. Janet Street Porter. <laughs> <laughs> it is not. Well, she likes younger men, that's why. No, um, that's quite a difficult one. I won't even bother to hand it over, actually. Uh, I won't even bother to give the answer. No, it's uh, Sophie Rhys jones Janet, this one's for you. I sometimes blow... This is a quote, it's not me. I sometimes blow, but I never inhale. <laughs> no confirm, this is for Janet. Phil Clinton. It's correct, four points. Oh, OK, hello. I, yeah. I could have given you a very naughty answer to that, but I didn't, because this is a family <laughs> show. Good. OK. <laughs> Helen, some say I took the Michael with my recent stage invasion. Who am I? Oh, oh, oh this well, is for Helen. all right, if other people know, you can keep them to themselves. Please. Um, please. Please. Yeah, some say... Can you have it again, please? <laughs> <laughs> Save a time, don't so, give a clue. Uh, some say I took the Michael with my yeah. recent stage invasion. Who am I? No, you're not going to get it. I'll get oh, it. Jarvis, Cocker. Jarvis Cocker is great. I'm sorry you wouldn't have got it. Please I was on angry. the cusp and then... No, you won't. No, you won't. Oh, no God, I was Jim. <laughs> Jim. I... Jim. Hello. I... Hello. <laughs> Can I just say Jim again? Hello. Jim. Hello. Jim, I have tried to kick the habit of crying in public when I lose my ball. Who am I? Uh, uh, Paul Gascoigne? Four points. Ned, I've won so many times at Wimbledon, I have to keep myself in check. In check? Is that a, is that a significant <laughs> word? Lendl. <coughs> uh, 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 Incorrect. I'll hand that over. Martina and Martina and Everett all over. Oh, the other sorry, one. That's sorry, right. Sorry. Okay, um, Janet. It may seem alien to you that I have a partner named Fox. No, hand that over. I was just trying to look at the answer, but I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> um, what did you read, then? I didn't see it, damn it. Um, what was the question again? No, you can't have it, because you wouldn't have understood it anyway. It may seem alien to you, but... But I have a partner named Fox TV mm. show, so... Uh, no, it's The X-Files. It's Dana Scully from The X-Files. The next round is a team round. Ned and Helen, for four points, would you please identify this speaker? I happen to be a manager. No, it doesn't sound like a football person, does nope. it? Uh, not that I'm stereotyping what's football. Oh, uh, you go, because you're probably right. John Harvey, what's it? It's not. Similar size. So you can have uh, another bash. Listen to this. 
I happen to be a manager who knows how to turn around. Oh, it's Robert Maxwell. Robert Six Maxwell is right for two points. Well done. OK, Jim and Janet, here we go. My agent was in Africa the other day. That's a difficult one. So was mine. Yes, <laughs> and so was mine. <laughs> OK, no, another bit. No, a bit more. He went out to see this tribe, and it was like a six-hour drive from Kenya. One of, one of her favourite English actresses, oh, isn't it? I mean, Emma Thompson. It's not Emma Thompson, though. Um, I can hand that over then for one point. It's an actress. Think one of her. Uh, it's not it's an what, actress. It's not an actress. Oh, I had a farm in Africa. I know this. Yeah, there's yeah, a strange yeah. phonetic thing going on. No, it's Jackie Collins. That's oh. what it was. Oh. Okay, Helen and Ned, listen to this. And when he danced, he was making love to you. When he what? When he danced, was it? Or what? What was the word? The verb? I think it was dance. When he I danced, danced. because you can't say dance if you're an actress. Uh, it's. Um, oh, we better have a bit more. Okay. Yes, a bit more. And when he danced, he was making love to you. And uh, this is the kind of thing that we learn in the street because we are the kind of people that are givers. Oh, it's it's uh, Eartha. Eartha, kid, well yeah, done. Two points, absolutely so. right. Okay. Jim and Janet, here's yours. If you're not playing well, you're not playing well. <laughs> Steve Davis. He's correct. Four oh, points. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, at the end of the round, early stages yet. In second place with eight, <laughs> with eight points, Helen and Ned, but uh, leading with uh, 20 are Janet and Jim. Okay, now this is a round for those of you who absolutely have to sit through the film until all the credits have rolled. I'm going to read you a list which should help you to identify a stage or screen production. <laughs> the sooner you can stop me and name both the show and the star, the more points you'll get. Incorrect answers cost you a point. Fingers on buzzers. Here we go. This is a cartoon. For ten points, Honeydew. Nine, Goldie. Eight, Benny the Ball. Uh, Top Cat. <coughs> Starring... Cat. Starring Top Cat. Is correct, yes. Eight points. Well done. <laughs> Benny the Ball. Bernie the Bull. It That's right. Bernie the, the Bull. Bernie the Bull. What from Golden Shop? Well, different era. The oh, golden days of television. <laughs> Black and white talkies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Silent television. This is silent television. Here we go. This is a film. Fingers on buzzers. For ten points, Claude Rains. Nine, Anthony Quayle. Eight, a motorbike. Seven, Jack Hawkins. Six, distant shot of camel. Lawrence, Lawrence of Arabia starred Peter O'Toole. Is correct, yes, you get the points. Six points. This is a film, fingers on buzzers. For ten points, James Fleet. For nine, David Bauer. Eight, Charlotte Coleman. Seven, John Hanna. Four weddings and a funeral. Is correct, yes, seven drama. points. <laughs> That's right, fingers on buzzers. Mm. For ten points, hamburgers. Nine, Samuel L. Jackson. Eight, Tim Roth. Seven, Christopher. Oh, Pulp Fiction. Starring. Yeah. Quite, um, uh, 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 John Travolta. He's correct. Yes, you get your points. Well done. I think you say Quentin Crisp, he wouldn't no, have fitted no, in, no, no not a Pulp Fiction. No, OK. Right, so let's have a look at the scores. Um, uh, <laughs> which, <laughs> which are, um, at this halfway stage, we see that in second position with 19 are Helen and Ned, <laughs> uh, but leading with 35 are Janet and Jim. <laughs> Can we rename the game Ritual Humiliation? <laughs> No, that comes later. Right, <laughs> this, uh, right, this programme has to be paid for somehow, so please pay close attention to the following adverts. See you in a minute. At the Anchor Reserve, we go out of our way to make our cows feel special. Because only special cows can produce a pale butter as mild and creamy as new Anchor Reserve. Good 
If you'd like to share a combine harvester for just £14.99 for two, including whatever you like from the salad cart, go to Harvester after 7 p.m., Mondays to Thursdays. Welcome back to Who Am I? Now, as Oscar Wilde once said, let's move on to round four. <laughs> this is about famous quotations. Helen and Ned, team round, you can confer. You're first. Who said this? I never drink anything stronger than gin before breakfast. WC Field. Is correct for four points. OK, Jim and Janet. The only thing I really mind about going to prison is the thought of Lord Longford coming to visit me. Oh, no. This is for four points. No, any, no, 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 no. Okay, I can Craig give Charles? You... Craig Charles? No, it's not. No. Uh, it's... I'll give you a clue. He's an oldie now. Are you opening it to us too? Oh, not it's yet. not Richard Ingrams. Incorrect. It is Richard Ingrams, so no points. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I take that as the vernacular, so two points, in fact, oh, yes. I know I speak common, Tony. You don't, but don't speak pick common. On me just because I was grammatically, you know. No, I just thought you were being a bit. You know, you know, sort of um, cheeky with me. <laughs> I was being playful. Playful, you little minx. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Helen and Ned, the two most beautiful words in the English language are check enclosed. Who am I? Do I lose a point if I get it wrong? Or no, I just I have to give you another clue. Try Geoffrey Bernard. It's not Geoffrey Bernard. So no. we haven't lost a point. Right. Good. That's that <laughs> point. Yeah. a clue now. Yes, I'll give you a clue. She said, talking about Catherine Hepburn. She ran the whole gamut of emotion. Parker. Dorothy Parker. Gamut of emotion. Uh, yes. There's a much better quote in that, you know. She goes on to talk about Alison Skipworth, another rather good character actress, and she says, um, Dorothy, uh, Catherine Hepburn kept well away from Miss Skipworth, lest she might catch acting from her. Ooh. Ooh. It's a bit you world, showbiz. But we love it. <laughs> and we're all gorgeous. <laughs> right, Jim and Janet. One must have a heart of stone to read the death of little Nell without laughing. Who am I? Oh, I know that one. Uh, um, I'll give you a clue. Give us a clue. Time. Or I will. Sweet. Uh, did time in Reading. I'll hand it over. Oscar Wilde. Oscar Wilde is correct. Oh. Yes, I'll give you a, a bonus point. This is again for you, Helen and Ned. I often quote myself, it adds spice to the conversation. Who am I? I quote myself. Oh, well, somebody, not, not Stephen Fry, but somebody sort of literary. Yes. Um, it's probably wild again. It's not wild, no. no. Uh, what about, look, um, I was, can I come in here? You can, um, but I'll give you a clue first. Yeah. There's not much of a clue. Well, we get the... four, four points if she goes, comes yes, and right. gets it first. Yes, all right. No, no, I have the clue. I'm no, no, say no, what no, 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 I've started, no, look, just calm down, everyone. <laughs> Feelings funny. Uh, George Bernachoff. It's correct, four Very points. Good. Good. Oh. <laughs> Jim and Janet. These days, a star is anyone who can hold a microphone. Who am I? Oh, sounds like some bitter and twisted old pop star from the 50s or 60s. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, whoever it is is going to feel really good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> clue, clue. Clue, if I rule the world. Harry Seacom. Is correct. Yes, two points. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Helen and Ned. I heard somewhere that politics is supposed to be the second oldest profession. I've come to realise that it bears a very close resemblance to the first. Who am I? Well, four a bit points. Convolute, is it? It is um, a bit. Clue. Clue? Yeah. Uh, Hollywood president? Ronald, Ronald Reagan. Okay, I'll give you two points for that. Jim and Janet. I don't <laughs> mind. <laughs> That's too easy, is it? That clue was a bit easy because we've got a bit of tut on this side. Never mind. Jim and Janet. I don't mind living in a man's world as long as I can be a woman in it. Who am I? Margaret Thatcher. No. Clue, yeah, go on. Yes, her best friend was a real gem. Uh, Marilyn Monroe? It's correct, two points, yes. Well <laughs> OK, let's have a look at the scores. Uh, in second place with 33 points, Helen and Ned, but leading with 41 are Janet and Jim. <laughs> OK, now the round 
uh, that I like to call round five, not just because it's the fifth round, but because on my card here, I've got five randomly chosen facts about a famous <laughs> individual. And I'm going to give each team 45 seconds to bombard me with their knowledge about that individual. Now you'll get two points for every fact you come up with that just happens to be on this card. Bonus points, obviously, for being gorgeous. Right, <laughs> here we go. Helen and Ned, 45 seconds, please, on Barbara Windsor. Barbara Windsor is a great carry-on star. She was married, to Ronnie. She was married to Ronnie Knight. Two she points. Was. She's been married twice since then, once to a short order cook, and she's married to another younger man now. In EastEnders currently? She's in the EastEnders currently, yes. uh, Two points. Uh, she's... So you're just missing one, actually, that's on the card, but I keep directed going. her in Come Spy With Me. She was in the... review with Danny LaRue, uh, Winston's Club with Danny LaRue. A lot Danny of charity LaRue's work. Club. A lot of charity work, A lot, lot of charity yes. work, yeah. Yes. Not on um, the card, The though. Bosoms came out. The Bosoms um, are very important. The yeah. Bosoms yeah. did... Carry on camping. That's clever. Carry on camping. The bra flew off. The bra flew off. Kenneth Williams was her best friend. Another two points, yes. And he went on her uh, honeymoon with her. Yes. Um, Very close to her mother. Yeah. <laughs> She's a Catholic. Charity work. Ra raised in a, a, a wet school at a, a convent school. Nearly there. The ones uh, you, the one you didn't get was uh, played Rosie in a stage production of Things Ain't What They Used To Be at the Garrick Theatre in London, 1960. Well, Miriam Carlin was the leading lady. You know. Yes. But it's not about being a star. It's just about, you know, facts about her. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, all right, all right, all right, right everyone. Calm down. <laughs> right, Jim and Janet. Hello. 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 We're here. <laughs> Hello. Oh, it's children's television. Hello. 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 Can we win now, please? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> here we go, then. Jim and Janet, 45 seconds on Margaret Thatcher. Ugh. Oh, her hair looks sorry. horrible Ugh. from the back. She cut, she's Grouse's daughter. She's married Born to Grantham. Dennis. She's Grantham. had twins. Married to she's, Dennis. The, she's the woman that uh, stopped the milk. Two, four points. She stopped the she's milk. She stopped the milk. Margaret okay. Thatcher, milk snatcher. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> She was, um, Always elements. has a big handbag like the Queen. Yeah. Big handbag. Hair looks terrible from the back. Oh, she, on she my was... card it says immaculate coiffure. <laughs> no, oh, never mind. From the back. <laughs> Not from the back. Okay, no. I'll give you two points for Husband's that. Husband's Dennis. Uh, He's right to Dennis. You've already said that. Have we? I can't say it again. Carol yes. and Mark. Uh, Carol and Mark. Carol and Mark. Mark. Mark keeps getting lost. Yep. Carol's um, nice. Mark isn't. Yeah. Oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, never mind. You can't have perfect world. Uh, really. She was. She was uh, ousted, and John Major took over. Yes. Not on my card. No. Here we go. <laughs> longest um, serving British Prime Minister. <laughs> I don't wonder what you're going to say there. Oh, right, please. The longest... That's a fact. No, it is a fact, but it's not on my card. There are a couple more things. Uh, no, uh, no. Uh, Leader Wall, of the Conservative Party. Did no, we say Wall? that? No? Uh, uh, academically. Um... Stupid. That was the bell. I heard it. Uh... <laughs> right, and uh, the other things you didn't get are degree in chemistry uh... and four, she's thrifty. Right. So. Oh, you might as well say she's got two legs, two arms. I mean, that no, is a hasn't. completely <laughs> random fact. She's thrifty. They only got six points. Yeah. Got six points, yeah. <laughs> so good. Oh. Uh, nevertheless, so pretty enough. well done. Okay, uh, Helen and Ned, <laughs> yes. forty-five seconds, please. On Elvis Presley. Wow. Well, dead. Uh, rock died and roll. Died of drugs overdose. Graceland's was his home. Graceland, two points. Uh, born in Tupelo, was he? Uh, no, uh, never mind. Tupelo. Yes, I'm sure he was. He went in the army, had his hair cut off. Uh, inducted into uh, the army. Married, married Priscilla. Married Priscilla. Uh, yes, two points. Had a daughter called Lisa Marie who married Michael Jackson. And okay. had a sort of curl up, the mouth went up like that. And uh, he was banned <laughs> from television for doing his pelvis. But he died yes. on, died I'll on give the you lavatory. One point, right? died he on died the on the lavatory. Full of p rattling pills. Full of pill, rattling pill no. pusher. He's a fascinating. Made Not his on debut on the Ed Sullivan show. Um... Um, movies? Well, 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 yeah. Lots of movies. He made lots of, he made lots of movies. Yes, he made lots of movies. Um, he made lots of movies. Spoke yes. and acted at the same time. Did the um, <laughs> name one of the movies? The German song. Uh, Jailhouse Rock was um, one of the movies. If you'd like that. Uh, um, no. Um, um, uh, crooner, um, crooner, or, or yes. um, He's married by no. manager was uh, Colonel Tom Parker. Two points. Yes. So you just missed oh, just under the belt. So the only one you didn't get was the first movie was Love Me Tender. Oh, um, that's what I was trying to say. Yeah. You've got uh, good points there. I was okay. relying on you for that. <laughs> Sorry. OK, now, over to uh, Jim and Janet. 45 seconds, please, on Laurence Olivier. Laurence Olivier was, uh, was married, married to Marjorie Vivian Lee right. and Joan Parrott. Uh, right. Joan Parrott, right. two points. Uh, uh, played Othello to Frank Finlay's uh, Iago. Yes. Um, he did the most appalling mid-European accents in some of his later films, but that's what he else. Boys from Brazil with Gregory Peck. Death of a Salesman. Death of a Salesman. Other facts, Richard not just films? Uh, uh, other facts. Um, um, Wilt films Yeah, well. he was knighted. Um, uh, he was in, um, oh, God, The Entertainer. He was in uh, John Osborne plays. On the yes, other uh, films. 
Are the films, are the films, are the films, are the films, are the films. <laughs> other films. <laughs> so many other films that Laurence Olivier's in that we well, all know. Why have we got a know, difficult one? Elvis Presley's um, really it's easy. Much easier. Is it? Laurence Olivier's much easier. Laurence Olivier's much easier. Laurence Olivier, known as Larry. Uh, <laughs> 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 I can't think of anything oh, about Laurence Olivier. You've got to, you've got Hamlet, one. Richard III. Uh, yeah. Well, the other yes, things I've got. I said what Richard got? the Third. Yeah, but it isn't on the card. Um, <laughs> Heathcliff in Wuthering Heights. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, director of the National Theatre. Of course. Oh. A Lord. Um, a Lord, co-starred with Marilyn Monroe in The Prince of the Showdown. Married Vivian Lee before did. Joan Playwright. Yes, and directed and starred in his own movie version of Henry V. Of course, course he did. Well, right, so let's have a look at the scores. Oh, it's still very close, and every could, everything could change in the final round. We see that in second position with 56 are Janet and Jim, but oh. leading uh, with 62 are Helen and Ned. <laughs> Right, now we're all going to squat on the coconut matting and hurtle down the frantic helter-skelter of our final round. I'm going to name some places and you have to tell me which famous people you think are associated with them. Two points if you're right, one deducted if you're wrong. Added rule, you can only speak when your light is illuminated. Good luck, get ready, fingers on buzzers, here we go. Bag end. Bag puss. Incorrect, one point away. Bilbo Beggins is the answer. Of course. Howarth. What? Bronte sisters. Uh, the Brontes, that's right. Please wait for your, till your light is illuminated. Good. Wimbledon Common, thank you. Wombles. Wombles. Correct. Gdansk Shipyard. Uh, uh, the uh, uh, last uh, Prime Minister, the last President um, of Poland. Who is? Lech Walenska. Walenska, yes. Uh, no, I'm no, not giving the points on yeah. Lech Walenska. It should, but you yes. should have said Lech Walenska, and I can't give it to you because you interrupted. Yeah. Let's have more something. <laughs> 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 OK, Stanley Road. No idea. Sounds like a situation comedy. No idea. Pass. Paul Weller, Madame Lucretia, Empress of the... Do oh, that's mine, sorry, shouldn't do that. Um, <laughs> Mandalay. Rebecca and Max de Winter. No, too late, here we go. Metropolis. Superman. Correct. Narnia. Oh, um, oh. Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. Um, it's Helen... Yeah, that's what I meant, the Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. It's too late, I can't get one point away because you were silent. OK, Troy. Helen. Helen of Troy, correct. The Kit Kat Club. S Sally Bowles. Sally Bowles is correct. Carmel. Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood, correct. Camelot. King Arthur. Uh, King Arthur. Uh, King. Uh, King Arthur, yes. Yeah, uh, your that was on, yes. Walthamstow. East 17. East Cheam. Tony, Tony Hancock. Hancock. Tony Hancock is correct. Iceland. Bjork. Bjork or Magnus Magnuson. Grantchester. Rupert Brock. Is correct. Devil Gate Drive. Susie Quattro. Correct. Ocean Drive. The, the Lighthouse family. Is correct. Agincourt. Henry V. Correct. Nutwood. Tina Turner. No, that's not Bush. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't give it. I, I can't. I, no, get your, get your finger off the buzzer. Get your finger off the buzzer. It was Rupert, Rupert the Bear. Rupert the Bear. But. But. Who was there? What? <laughs> Boys and girls, shall I give her a point? Yes! No! Right, <laughs> I'll give you a point, Helen. OK, here we go. Fingers on buzzers. 461 Ocean Boulevard. Eric Clapp. Is correct. Howlett's Zoo. John Aspinall. Is correct. Sunset Boulevard. Oh! Gloria Swanson. Is just in time. Oh. Gloria Swanson, Norma Desmond. Well and let's have a look at Maybe. the scores. Oh, well done, because we see they're just losing this time with 71 at Janet and Jim. But this week's winners, with 78, a really good final spurt from <laughs> Helen and Ned. <laughs> Well, I leave you with a couple of quotations. It was Diana Ross who said, touch me in the morning. But it was Lionel Blair who said, you can touch me in the morning, but mess with my hair, you die. <laughs> and with those famous quotations, it's time for us to leave you. And so, it's goodbye from Ned Sheeran, Helen Lederer, Janet Street Porter, Jim Sweeney, and me, Tony Slattery. Good night. <laughs>
Got a kitchen. Got a pan. Got vegetables. Got a pan. Got a fridge. Got no plug. Got a sweet and sour meal maker. Blah, blah. Just that chicken, pork, or vegetables. Got a generous meal for two. Chop. Add meal maker, simmer, and serve. New one pound meal makers from Cross and Blackwell. Now there's a thought. Will you hurry up in there? What a wonderful feeling. You weren't the only one out late last night. I'm hap, 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 hap. <sighs> and don't forget to clean the bath when you're finished. Dum, dum, dee, dee, dee. Dum, Off tracks. Are you eyes trying to tell you something? In half an hour, Serve You Right investigates those modern day law enforcers, the car clampers. Oh, what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. For me, it was a love story. If others now think differently, for me, it is still a love story. An award-winning new drama starring Geraldine O'Rourke and Zoe Wanamaker. A tale of passion, infatuation, deception and murder. I've told them that you're my wife. We know where you are. There can be no forgiveness. Whose fault is all this? Meridian presents The English Wife, Sunday the 4th of August.